Hot Wheels has been making toy cars for over 50 years straight now, and they've quickly become one of the most important toy brands in history. And after so many years of designing cars, sometimes they get really creative and start adding special gimmicks, such as extra moving parts, hidden features, color changing paint, technology gizmo doohickeys, and more. I've always been incredibly interested in these doodads. So in this video, we'll be going over the most peculiar Hot Wheel car gimmicks that have ever been released. First off, let's talk about the many Hot Wheels that have simple mechanisms or moving parts, such as the Rodzilla that released all the way back in 1988. Not only is this thing an awesome looking dragon car, but the entire net can fully spin around, which is really funny. The head turning gimmick is pretty simple and doesn't change much, but even really simple gimmicks like that can make a car design all the more interesting and memorable because of it. And speaking of spinning parts, there's also the Tankinator, which has a turret on top that spins. The tank. Let's just get this guy out of there. Oh my gosh, the turret spinning is so much more unsatisfying than I thought it was gonna be. It's just... Also, this isn't even a car, it's just a freaking tank. In fact, there's quite a lot of Hot Wheels that aren't even cars at all. So let me know if you want me to make a video covering all of those too. And speaking of military vehicles, there's also the Jet Threat 4.0. This one's basically a car that you could unfold into a jet by taking out the wings, which is pretty cool. But one of the most common uses of moving parts in Hot Wheels is having openable doors or windshields. A recent example being the Sky Dome. It's just a cool looking futuristic car, but with a fully openable windshield slash door slash roof thing, which makes it so much more cooler. Oh, okay, I just broke it. God damn it. What the frick? There's also the Split Decision that released in 2005, and it has two separate doors you can open. I've always loved this one as a kid, because you can just open the giant doors and leave them up while driving it around. <laughs> Next, we have the Whip Creamer 2 from 2003 that has a slidable windshield roof thing. The roof piece can be slid back and forth in a really satisfying way to the point where it's actually just a good fidget toy. <laughs> And the final windshield opener we'll take a look at is the Buzz Bomb. This car is such an awesome design. It's themed after a bumblebee, and the doors open up in a way that resembles bee wings, which is so freaking cool. It's a bee! These doors are so freaking huge. I don't think he cares about the Buzz Bomb. Moving on to some weirder uses of moving parts, we have the Roller Toaster from 2017. This car design instantly became a classic because it's just freaking awesome. Look at it. It's basically a giant toaster turned into a car. I want the toaster car! I want the toaster car! Ooh. Toaster! Beep, beep. And its gimmick is the lever on the back that you can push down, which also pushes down the bread on top like a real toaster. Well, it doesn't like push the toast in all the way as I expected. I can push down the toast myself, yeah. but the lever just makes it go down like that. <laughs> The Roller Toaster is also a playable car in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1 and 2, and the lever actually gets pushed down whenever you boost, which is really cool. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 is a pretty cool game, but my favorite thing to do while playing is drinking a nice cup of Gamer Subs, the sponsor of today's video. Gamer Subs is a delicious energy drink that's cheaper and healthier than other options. It's got zero sugar, zero carbs, less than a calorie, and if you don't even like energy drinks, there's an entire line of caffeine-free flavors too. And the absolute best part is the sheer amount of absolutely delectable flavors for you to choose from. Most of them have really weird names, but trust me, guacamole gamer fart or grandpa's ashes tastes freaking amazing, I swear. All you gotta do is get a cup of cold water or just use one of the many gamer sub shaker cups, put some powder in and shake it around. Also, if you use code PONGON at checkout during the first 48 hours of this video coming out, you'll get free shipping. And if you use the code after that, you'll get 10% off anything instead. But if you're still on the fence about it, you can just order a free sample. And the first 500 people who order just a free sample will also get a free Polygon Donut sticker as well. So make sure to check out Gamer Subs with a link in the description, use code PONGON, and back to the video. And speaking of cars based on food, there's also the Street Wiener that released that same year. This one is also a pretty awesome design. I want hot dog Hollywood. And its little moving part is the grill lid spoiler in the back, which can be opened and closed to your heart's content. That's a lot weirder than I thought it was gonna be. It's literally just bending a piece huh? of plastic. Like, there's no actual mechanism here. I feel like it's just gonna break off. Look at that! That's gonna break off! It's also in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1 and 2 again, and the grill lid keeps moving around while you drive, which is an awesome detail. There's a ton of other really cool food-related Hot Wheels, but these are the only ones with moving parts. But what if the moving parts were inside the car instead of on the outside? 
side, cause the Nightburner is a car that released in 2006, and the giant motor in the middle has some pieces on the inside that can spin around, and the special hidden feature of that is the fact that when you blow on the exhaust pipe in the back, you can literally use the car as some sort of kazoo thing? Kazoo Hot Wheels! Are you ready for how it sounds? Let's find out how it sounds. <gasps> I've literally had this car for my entire childhood and never found out that you could do this. It's such a cool little hidden feature. But going into some more weirdly creative uses of moving parts, we have the Simi Roland car that released in 2021. The back tire is a big piece with a bunch of dice numbers on it, and you're basically able to use the entire car as a dice. Whenever you roll the car around and look through the hole on top, you see a random number from 1 through 6. If you want to use this as a dice, I guess you just roll it around for a second. 6! <laughs> One. The only downside of this is that sometimes it just lands on like a half number. I don't know what you would rule this as. This thing is such a cool idea. You can basically just replace all the dice rolling in a board game with the car and it would still work. Also, the car itself looks like such a little goober. Another really creative gimmick is the Emoto car from 2017. Funny emoji car. God damn it. <laughs> It has this big drum on top that rotates between different faces. Happy. Yeah. Then we got, uh, <gasps> sad. <gasps> and then we got another. <gasps> and the faces are just shaped into the plastic rather than colored like on the box, so they're hard to see. I think you're supposed to color them in yourself, so... Oh god, this is so difficult. <gasps> <gasps> oh gosh, he already has a mustache. It doesn't rub off. No! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do better for the sad face. It keeps rolling while I'm trying to draw on it. This is horrible. Is this actually what you're supposed to do or have I just ruined this Hot Wheel? I'm gonna try to draw an Amogus from memory. This is terrible. I gave him a tumor. Okay, troll face time. <laughs> There's a troll face. Why does it just look like a walnut? <laughs> I'm very confused on what to think about this car. On one hand, it's a very creative and hands-on gimmick, but the car itself is really ugly, unnatural, and just makes no sense. And speaking of ugly cars, there's also the Skull Shaker that released in 2018. This is basically the infamous Bone Shaker car, but with a giant ugly skull coming out of the top. And the gimmicky mechanism of this one is that the skull rumbles around whenever you roll the car. He's shaking his head around. The big old noggin. Then knock knock anyone home. Shaking his cranium. Yeah! This thing is so freaking weird, but the rumbling gimmick is kinda cool, I guess? The shark bite has a similar mechanism, but instead of pieces rumbling when you drive it around, the shark's jaw repeatedly chomps up and down. Now this one is freaking awesome! Not only is the shark design insanely cool looking, but the jaw movement is just that extra added touch of awesomeness and perfectly fits the car's design. This car is also in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1, and the jaw actually does move up and down in-game, which is a really nice detail. After the shark bite, they also made yet another car with jaw chomping action, the Hot Wheeler. It's basically the same gimmick, but this time it's a dog. Okay, let's get a look at the jaw chomping action here. <laughs> Hot Wheeler jump scare. <laughs> I love how menacing this design is. It's also featured in Hot Wheels Unleashed 1, and yes, the jaw does move in game too. Although we have one final jaw chomping car, the Jaws car. This one came out recently in 2022, and this time the jaw doesn't chomp automatically. You can just open or close it yourself like a hood. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I also think the car itself just looks really freaking cool. It's kinda scary looking, like the teeth are so small and jagged. Ugh. And while that's the end of jaw chomping cars, there's also an entire line of jaw chomping monster trucks from the Attack Pack series that released all the way back in 1992. The massive jaws on the monster trucks look freaking awesome. And this one's toy has teeth too? The Attack Pack series also comes with some non-car or truck toys, like these weird alien spaceship gizmos that also have mouths? What? I don't know what the frick is going on in the attack pack lore, so let's just not get into that. I'm honestly kinda scared. Moving on to the next section, we have a bunch of Hot Wheels that have special real-world functionalities, such as the Tool again from 2010. It's obviously a tool-themed car, but the wrench spoiler and hexagon hole on the bottom are actually usable with real tools. <laughs> 
It's also an incredibly cool and well-designed car, but it's not exactly a gimmick that I have ever used and will ever use in my life. Like, when are you going to be screwing something in and then you just so happen to have this Hot Wheel on you instead of an actual freaking wrench? Exactly 10 years later in 2020, they released the Speed Driver as a successor to Tooligan. I'm gonna use the Tooligan to open up the Speed Driver. <laughs> And there he is, compared to the tool again. Look at them, they're brothers! I think it looks a lot less cool, but at least it has some new tool functionalities. The middle part can hold bits, and there's another red spoiler. It's still kinda cool, I'm glad we got another take on this idea. But an even cooler idea is the Carbonator from 2008. This soda-themed car is also sort of a tool, but instead of screwing nuts and bolts together, the spoiler can be used as a bottle opener. You can also use the front of the car to open cans as well. Monster Energy Carbonator Hot Wheel. <laughs> <That's like it. laughs> it didn't work. It worked. Okay, now my turn. <laughs> Aside from the much more useful functionality, the design of the car itself is also incredibly cool. It's basically a big soda bottle on wheels, and the soda is used to fuel the car. This is also kind of a mega missed opportunity for brand deals. They totally could have kept re-releasing the car, but branded with different real-world sodas. Next, we have the teed off car that released in 1999. It's basically an epic decked out golf car, but with a divot on top of the engine that you can actually put a golf ball on. So you can basically use this car instead of a golf tee. It was cancelled in 2007, but then they revived it with the teed off 2 in 2015. The golf. Did I just do this again? Gosh dang it! Like the video if this up happened to you too! <laughs> This time, it's got the massive engine in the front, so if you were actually driving this, you would not be able to see where you're going at all. This is your POV from the freaking driver's seat? You can't see a damn thing! What the hell? And, uh, this is the spot that you would put a golf ball on, so cut to when I go to a mini golf place. Okay guys, look, there's the golf ball on the Hot Wheel! It's on it! <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna shake the Hot Wheel! <laughs> oh, I actually did it! Well, that one was kind of useless. The Embosser from 2017 is even more useless. I genuinely don't know what they were thinking with this. At first, it looks like it's just a normal truck, but the actual gimmick is to emboss the Hot Wheels logo onto a piece of paper? The kids yearn for the embossing press. Okay, well, I don't really have any paper to emboss, so I'm just gonna try to emboss these gamer sub stickers. I'm sorry, random gamer subs character. I'm sorry, I can't fit it down there. There it is, guys! As you can see, true embossed success right there. Huge embossing fan, by the way, guys. I'm a huge fan of embossing. This thing freaking sucks. A better paper-related gimmick is the Clip Rod from 2020. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It's a car that's also a clip. It's mainly meant to clip paper together like a paper clip, but you can actually just clip the silly Hot Wheel onto whatever you want, such as money, your shirt, use it to close a bag of snacks, or even use it as a hair accessory. Although the precursor to the Clip Rod is the Fast Cash. This car was released in 2011 and cancelled in 2018. It basically does the same thing, but it's money themed. Next, in 2021, Hot Wheels started releasing a series of cars that are officially compatible with Mega Blocks, but also secretly work with Legos too. There's the Custom Small Block, Bricking Trails, Bricking Speed, Bricking Delivery, and Brick and Mortar. Okay, so here's two I'm gonna test out. You can take off the doohickeys from the thingamabob and look at that! Let's take off these doohickeys. Oh, in preparation for this video, I bought a freaking Minecraft Lego set. So let's just open this up. I'm just gonna start placing pieces. I'm gonna make a diamond block to put on this. Yay! Diamond block! And there's a creeper. Wait a second. I'm gonna put Steve's head on the creeper. Yep, there we go. And I'll just put a bunch of other random pieces on this. Oh my gosh. The Minecraft Hot Wheel. Let's see if this actually drives. It drives! Wow! Bam. Okay, well, there it goes. But the Bubblematic takes the cake for the most joyous Hot Wheel gimmick of them all. Besides the car just being incredibly cool looking, this goober has a whimsical mechanism that turns the car into a bubble wand. The bubble. I want the bubble! I want the bubble! Digital circus reference? Mm -hmm. Eep. 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 I bought some bubbles and we're actually gonna test this out now. Wait. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the bubbles we oh, bought! No. What do we do? <laughs> I got this, guys. Okay, okay. Damn it! It's too windy. Okay, we're trying again. I actually have a bowl now, so this should work. Just one bubble. Wait, this doesn't work! Dude! Oh <laughs> I give up. Wow. This sucks. 
Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! And finally, we have the Loopster that released in 2015, which is basically just a roller coaster train. And instead of working with other items, this contraption works with more of itself. The roller coaster. I want roller coaster. I want roller coaster. Yeah. 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 Roller coaster. Yeah. So every Hot Wheel that has human characters, they always have this exact same helmet. Like, why are they wearing helmets on a roller coaster? Okay, let's try to hook these together now. Oh, there you go. Roller coaster! It drooped. But speaking of cars that can hook together, let's talk about an entire line of forgotten Hot Wheels from 2014. The Mutant Machines. They went all out on this one silly gimmick, with so many cars, color variants, and even a few playsets. And after all that, due to unpopularity, they sadly had to cancel it within the same freaking year. And they're basically just wiggly goober cars that can hook together. And look at him! He's so droopy! So I also just want to point out how cool this freaking packaging is. It's much bigger, and it has a bunch of space to show off how it bends. I thought it was going to be more like the rainbow slug fidget toy, but it is just some kind of weird rubber. Let's unpack them all and then hook all of them together. Let's try to hook them all up. Oh my gosh. How is this a Hot Wheel? This is insane. Okay, wait. If I just hook two of them together and then hook them back, it's a brain. Dude, it's a Hot Wheel bracelet. This is actually peak fashion. Wait a second. I have an even better idea. Well, I got all of them together like this. Look at that. The yeah. Hot Wheel necklace. <laughs> this is insane that you could actually do this. Check out the bling. Yeah. How did it not come loose? Wait, what? Well, my hair is tangled in it now. You just take it up. Wow. Frag <laughs> but even with the cancellation, they still made one last effort to prove to the world that these silly wiggly goober cars are cool. So, in 2016, they released a much larger mutant machine toy that can automatically slither around with a bunch of sound effects. It's quite a peculiar contraption, but kinda cool, I guess? I probably don't need to explain why nobody really cared about this either. And yes, I actually bought one. I just had to see what the deal with this doohickey is. Hey Snickers, do you want to play with the funny Hot Wheel? <laughs> it ran into the freaking wall. He actually doesn't care. What the? I'll, I'll press this one now. <laughs> Wait, that's all that button does? He just does a little jiggy. <laughs> Also in 2016, another similar thing happened with the Split Speeders. Once again, they went all out on a super creative and weird gimmick, and less than a year later in 2017, they got instantly cancelled due to unpopularity. And same as last time, these cars are genuinely awesome, and I'm really sad they got freaking cancelled. Basically, there are a bunch of cars that can literally split in half with magnets, and you can even mix and match the different car halves as you please. Also, once again for these two, I just want to point out how freaking cool this packaging is. Like, not only does it look cool, but as you can see here, you can actually split them in the packaging. And then they snap back on. There's this one. And this one. Here's all four of the ones I have. And I guess let's just start mixing them up. Just look at them. Let's just randomly start combining them. There we go. Just a bunch of random abominations that you can create with this. I am genuinely distraught at how these got freaking cancelled. They've released around 14 different designs. And even released a few track sets that split the cars apart mid driving as well. They clearly really wanted this to work, so it's really sad that it got cancelled so soon, especially when the designs themselves are so cool. In fact, I like these designs so much to the point where I'm just gonna freaking tier list them cause why not. First off, for the eh tier, there's the cop cars, cause they're not really that interesting. Then for the it's alright pair tier, I'll add both the dragon cars, the robot, the tank, and the orange car, cause they're all pretty cool. Next, in the it's cool ding tier, I'll add the samurai one, cause it looks freaking awesome, the blue robot, cause it looks cooler than the red one, and the chopped rod, because it's a pretty cool looking car. And now, for the highest tier, I love this one, <laughs> First, let's add this one, the hot dogger, because it's just so funny looking. I love how there's mustard and ketchup bottles strapped onto the car. Then we got both the shark designs because they have a really satisfying shape and color scheme. And finally, my absolute favorite one of them all, the alien buster, because it's a freaking narp narp car. <laughs> I'm forever sad that this one's too rare to actually buy. I really wish I had one, but I genuinely can't find them anywhere. But now, let's move on to the few times they've incorporated technology into the gimmicks, starting out with the Video Racer from 2011. This gizmo is basically a Hot Wheels car with a POV camera built in, and as you might expect from a 2011 cheap camera, it's pretty freaking terrible. 
There's barely any POV footage from it online, and it's honestly kinda comedic how shaky it is. There's even a tiny LCD screen on the car itself to play back the video, and they also advertise that you can just mount the car on random things like your helmet instead of just rolling it around. So it's basically just a cheap wannabe GoPro at this point. So good thing they replaced it with the zoom in car in 2018. This one's just a plastic car with a built-in GoPro mount so you can actually record good POVs, although it obviously doesn't come with the GoPro. It's a lot less accessible than the video racer due to the GoPro being a separate $500 purchase, but it's a necessary replacement. I just wish the video racer wasn't completely lost to time. It's a much cheaper option and the terrible shaky footage kind of has some charm to it I guess. Next we got the speed readers, which are probably the most useless gimmick of all time. These gadgets were released in 2005 and rightfully cancelled in 2006. So there's basically this tiny screen on the car itself that displays the toy car's speed. Like, the speed of a toy car just doesn't really mean anything. The packaging does provide some math to convert the toy speed to real life car speeds which is kinda cool. I don't know, all I'm saying is that I completely understand why these dinguses were cancelled. One year later in 2007, they made another gimmick series called the Rumblers. This time, all the cars have massive engines that rumble around whenever you roll the car, just like the Skull Shaker from earlier. But the technology part is that there's lights and sound effects that play as well. They released a ton of these in 2007, but as usual, it was cancelled right away in 2008. Mattel really can't catch a break with these cool gimmicks getting cancelled. I actually own one of these from my childhood, and it obviously doesn't play any sound effects anymore, but the rumbling does still work. This one in particular is really cool because it kind of looks similar to my favorite Hot Wheel, the Deera 2. There's also one more gimmick series that was instantly cancelled, the Lightspeeders from 2012. These cars come with an ultraviolet light and stencils, and you can basically paint designs on the car with light. As cool as that sounds, they sadly fade away really quickly, so it ends up being a pretty useless gimmick, even though it is really cool. There were a few playsets as well that come with even more light contraptions to use on the cars, but it was obviously cancelled very soon after. And now, we're at the final section, which is just a few other random leftover gimmicks that I couldn't really find a place to put in the video. First off, the Braille Twin Mail. This one released recently in 2023, and I think it's freaking awesome. It just looks so cool in the white or silver designs, and there's Braille all over the car and packaging. I've seen many reviews from parents with visually impaired kids that love being able to read Braille on a Hot Wheels car of all things, and I just think that's a pretty awesome thing. I've been told that the Braille says things like Twin, Mill, Hot Wheels, and 68. Hopefully they make more Braille car designs because this goober is very cool. Next we got the Coop Clip car from 2022, and the gimmick is that it's a Hot Wheel with no wheels? Hell no, can't have anything in the toy. Basically, this thing is supposed to be used as a keychain, and I honestly think it looks really aesthetically pleasing, so I actually kinda like it. The trinkets! I love trinkets! God, it looks so funny without any wheels! I also have this black and gold color scheme, which also looks pretty cool. Look at them next to each other. And finally, we have the color shifters. But there's such an astronomical amount of lore and history about these things that I'm just gonna save for another video. A quick explanation is that they feature paint that changes color with hot or cold water, which is really cool. So here we have one of my favorite color shifter goobers. It's a pretty cool rare one that I'll talk about more in the other video. So first Let's put some hot water. Whoa, look at that! And now cold water. <laughs> I love color shifting. Yeah. There's definitely tons of other Hot Wheel gimmicks out there, but we pretty much covered all the most interesting ones I could possibly find during my research. And don't worry, a full-on color shifter video will also be coming out on the channel too sometime, so stay tuned for that. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and use code PONGON for some funny gamer subs! Also, comment down below your favorite Hot Wheel gimmick, or if you know about any other cool ones that I missed. Okay, bye!